What's poppin' YouTube? It's your girl May Banks, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And if you guys want to check out how I got this lip, then keep on watching. We're going to have fun because I'm going to be reviewing a palette that I seen on Amazon. And this palette is a cream palette. It's great for a special effects artist, for, you know, any makeup artist in general, because you can honestly use this for anything. But I want to see if it actually works. Is the quality good? Can it can it compete with somebody like Mehron or, you know, other, like, really top, high-quality brands that people use to this day? I, unfortunately, do not have the funds to be getting all that expensive makeup. But if I can find an affordable quality type of makeup that is an equivalent to that then by all means i will buy it you feel me what caught my attention about this palette is the way that the layout was the layout it had the original like um colors in the middle but it had a really large pan for a black and a really large pan for a white which is awesome because if you guys know as an artist makeup or even traditional or you know like hands-on artists you know that black and whites are our holy grail those are the, the two colors that run out the most every single time that you use it so i thought that was really interesting so i was like i definitely need to buy it i originally was gonna buy the regular um special effects palette i don't know the name of it but the one that you see on amazon and it's usually the regular skins one and then the actual color palette that a lot of people use and i was gonna originally get that one until i saw this one and i was just like that caught my eye i like that i want to try it so i ordered it and today we're going to be using it because i'm going to be doing a cyberpunk lumpy space princess makeup look and this is gonna be fun because i'm actually challenging myself right now to be able to combine a really opposite aesthetic to a cartoon character that we all grew up watching so i feel like it's gonna be very fun um i might not be talking much throughout um like personally talking throughout the the video because i'm gonna just be doing my makeup and everything is very noisy here so i feel like the best way is to do a voiceover so i might be doing that i don't know don't quote me we don't know i kind of just go with the flow of things so yeah the back is really cute it shows you all the colors i kind of like like this like sort of like reflective type of packaging that it has even in the front like these unicorns it has like a reflective type of packaging i think that's really really cute here it is very beautiful a lot of different colors i will be doing swatches so don't worry about that we will be seeing how these colors look but first impressions i think the packaging is really nice very simplistic but also catches your attention in a way so i really like that what if i don't know how to use it well, you're not going to tell me instructions you can be makeup scan this name tag on instagram to follow them cute okay so i guess they don't give you um instructions I do recommend even if the the product is self-explanatory i feel like you should be giving instructions just in case because you just never know whose hands it will get into so just a pointer um i guess i'll lift my arm up to show you guys i don't think they're water or alcohol activated i think they're just cream yeah i was right they're just cream based so definitely i want to swatch this purple the purple is right here let's do this red that's pretty we have the white obviously right there we have the yellow right here we have what else this green is really pretty this green right here it seems like they're very pigmented you know it looks like these are more so like buildable type of products so that's great it's kind of up right there again this is not water or alcohol activated so you don't have to worry about that you just kind of just have to go in and just go crazy you feel me which is great the only ones that i am curious about is these two metallic shades that they have which i think is really cool as well because a lot of like special effects and all those type of like painting palettes do not include metallics or like glitter or whatever so i think that's really cute um, so I definitely want to swatch this metallic silver that's very pretty it's very reflective and I also want to do this gold right here I think that one is really cool as well you can see 
how much product it gives you so i think that's something that you should really consider because honestly speaking you're not going to be using all that product in one time like this is going to work and stay like that over time for a really long time if you know how to preserve it, if you know how to use your products well i feel like that would be great so i'll show you guys how i accomplished the look and see how i feel at the end of this video i will tell you guys my last impressions is it being approved or not and do i recommend it to anybody else so for starters i decided to put in my black scleras and they were burning my eyes it wasn't even funny but i couldn't put in the other black one because it was broken so i just decided to go with the white so yeah um then i went in and decided to just cover up my forehead with that purple to kind of test it out and when i blended it out it was being very blotchy and just like ugly so i was just like no this cannot work so then i just decided how can i make this lavender so i did a little test and i decided to go purple and then white and mix it all together and it lightened up so i was like okay great now i am just covering my entire face with that horrendous purple color and making sure that it's not blotchy and hoping for the best praying to the gods up there in the heavens and the earth and wherever the hell they are and just hoping for the best of course me being half blind i can't really see what's going on but it was really blotchy and it was kind of nerve-wracking and risky but i was just gonna trust the process you know you just gotta trust the process with this i went in with my ears as well even though my ears are gonna be covered by the wig so i didn't go too hard on that then i decided to go in with that white and when i tell you this was like the best decision because immediately you can see when it started blending that it lightened up the color really really well so i was really happy about that i just had to make sure that i blended as much as i can to get rid of all the little spots and i had to go in with my fingers because it was looking questionable then i went with that grandma smelling air spun you know that is the holy grail I love it i don't care what nobody say it's great and i covered it all around my face to make sure everything was even and honestly this really made the look if i never did this i don't think i would have been good and then i decided to do the same process on my neck because it's gonna be exposed you know sippy 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 and i went in with that purple color that i started off with as a contour shade because i figured out that you know it might look nice but i try not to go too heavy with it because i didn't want to take away from the lavender color that i already worked so hard to achieve from the jump and i went in with that glammy air palette and i used it to further bronze out my cheeks in a way and just hope for the best and just get it to however i desired and finally again back with that air spun acting as a highlight and baking combo and just trying to bring back that light color and evenly get all of it together in one go yeah now it's for that star you know just trace it out fill her in and just hope for the best we gotta look like iconic you know we gotta do that iconic star lumpy space princess oh my god and then we just went in and set it with that yellow from the glamier palette as well which really helped keep it all intact some more sippy sippies because this is the best way to keep me in check <laughs> sponsor me now we're gonna go in with that cyberpunk vibe you feel me so we went with that blue because i wasn't trying to look crazy and do pink and then everything just gets destroyed i'm not about to be doing that all over again so we did that blue feel me Put a little black and purple in that lip to kind of give it more of that like that vibe you know that grungy vibe i love this i'm not even gonna lie i'll do this on a regular lip and it'll just look spicy meatable. and then i went in with a white snazaroo because the white and the cream was blending and it was just becoming baby blue so i just used snazaroo instead and yeah so this is the final look the one thing that i have to say is that it is an easy product to blend so i did like that it was a little challenging for me because I wanted to be more on the lavender side. So as you can see, I kind of tried in a way. I wish that I did have a lavender shirt, but I don't. So we're just going to have to make it work for what we have. This is like my cyberpunk type of, you know, actually, like while I was doing research on like cyberpunk culture and makeup and stuff like that, it's actually pretty cool if you think about it. Like if you look into the scene and everything like that, it's actually pretty cool. So I did like that. This is kind of giving me like nebula vibes in a way because of the blue i was trying to find a color that wasn't as that wouldn't really like 
fade into the purple like pink or something like that and i wanted to do yellow but i didn't want to do it so i just kind of chose blue since it was like the brightest blue that was in there but i feel like now it just makes me look like nebula but it don't matter don't worry about that don't watch that the eyes again i was gonna do black because of the simple fact that um lumpy space does have black eyes i wish i had the mini black scleras i feel like it would have been really cute but since i don't I just put the one, the other one is actually broken, so I couldn't put it in, so I just decided, hey, just do it white, who knows. Put more into the aesthetic of cyberpunk. So yeah, this is the final look. I hope you guys like it. Um, let me know in the comments below any characters that you would want me to do in the future, and I'll make sure that I'll do them for you. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell, because YouTube does not tell me when I post, and I really want you to post personal experience with me. And also, if you guys do order this, um... Let me know how do you how what do you guys think about it? Do you like it for you? You know, I think it's pretty cool. I do like that it's oil based, so therefore you don't have to really do anything about it. You could just use it on its own. So I thought that was really cool. But yeah. Also, if you guys want to see the review on this wig, it should have been in the last video that I did. But if not, you can check it out in the description box below. And you can see my review on this wig from Amazon as well. We're just doing a lot of Amazon finds right now, pretty much. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in my next one.